Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and we are looking at Microsoft Word and Word Processors and today's lesson is going to be about line numbers. This is particularly useful when you are referring to a block of text from an extract or if you are actually having code in your documents. So let's go check out how we can use line numbers. So here I've got a document with a whole bunch of text and I'm just going to show you what the line number feature looks like. So first of all, you can come here to layout and over here you can check out there is line numbers. At the moment it's by default set to none. So if we want to switch them on, we can click on continuous and as you can see, there's a whole bunch of numbers that have been added. So I want you to take note when we go to a new page, do you see how it continues with the numbering? So what we're going to do then is we're going to come over here and if we want to restart each page, we can do that. So if I come over here and you'll see restart each page, you can see that on this page it restarts from one. You can also, for example, maybe you don't want numbering on this one. So then you can actually, so for this one, suppress for the current paragraph. And if you do that, it'll take it away. If it does, it does not include those lines in the line numbering. So you'll see 22 is there and then it jumps to 23 over here. So it continues after this paragraph if you suppress it. Another way to suppress them, if you want to, you can select multiple paragraphs, for example. And if you come to the paragraph settings, and you come here to line and page breaks, you can actually suppress line numbers here for a whole bunch of paragraphs instead of just doing individual paragraphs. And there you can see all of them are gone and it continues after that. Now, if I want to restart on each section, so let's go back to the original way that we had it. So as you can see, we're back to normal where it's, it continues after each page. So if I come over here and I insert a section break, so this is a completely different section. You can see it goes from 66 to 67. We can actually set it so that each section is going to have a different numbering. And as I said, this is very useful, for example, if you've got lines of code that you are demonstrating. So a lot of programmers prefer to line three of the code or line nine so that you know what you're referring to. Maybe you're a teacher that's got a piece of text that you are referring to in an exam. And so you want to refer to which line of the text has the alliteration or that line has the oxymoron or something like that. You can easily identify the line from the text. Now what happens if you've got that situation? Let's say this area here. I'm going to actually use my indentation over here just to make it look different from the rest of the text. So if I do this, let's pretend this is the text that I'm going to refer to. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select all of the paragraphs and then I'm going to right click, go to paragraph and I'm going to suppress line numbers for all of them. Now this text over here is what I want to just have line numbering for. So let's go look at what it looks like if I add line numbering to this one. So for this group, I'm going to go paragraph and not suppress line numbers for this one. And there you can see it's 1 to 28 for just this particular section. Now there are other options. If I come over here to line numbering options, you'll look here and you'll say that there's no line numbering options. Yeah, there's, but you've got to click on that button over there. And then you get all of the similar features that we had. We can start at a particular number. We can reset that number if we want to. That's another feature we've got here. We can specify how far from the text it is. So we can specify like the distance, how far it must be. So let's try and see what that looks like. So it's further away from the margin. And if we go back to it, one of the other features which is quite nice is maybe you don't want every single line. Maybe you want to count by, for example, by fives. Then it will just go and say five, 10, 15, 20. So you can make out that that's obviously line one, two, three. This is line five. This is line 10. So you can have your line numbers in like sections. Every five lines, it'll mention the line number. So this is very useful. If you are referring to individual lines in a text, you'd ideally want to refer to the line numbers. So there we go. That is line numbers. Remember, this is not the only word video we've got. We've got tons of others on our channel at Miss Long IT and Cat. If you're not a subscriber, support the channel by clicking on that button and make sure that you share us with your friends so we can help them as well. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.